Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic inequality. Last time, meron tayong part 1 na makikita nyo dito. And I hope tapanorin nyo yun para mas makuha nyo yung mismong video natin. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is a single example for this entire video. We solve natin and we will try to find the solution sets. The solution set of this quadratic inequality, x squared minus x minus 12 is greater than 0. Now, what is the first step in solving this inequality? The first thing you need to do is to turn this inequality into quadratic equation. So, how do we do that? We will change this inequality into equal sign. And it will be x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. Since this equation is already in quadratic form, we will solve this one. Ang pinaka-target kasi natin dito is to find the critical points. So you can solve this by factoring. The factors are x minus 4, then x plus 3 is equal to 0. Solve for x, you have your x minus 4 is equal to 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0. To solve for x, simply transpose this to the other side. That is x is equal to 4. And this time, x transpose nothing to dito is equal to negative 3. Now, this one is not the solutions yet. Ito lang yung mag-serve as our critical points para sa ating number line. So, ano magiging purpose ito? These critical points will determine yung mismong part kung saang number line yung solution set o yung mga possible solutions ng ating quadratic inequality. Now, for negative 3, Hindi natin kailangan ilagay lahat ng numbers dito. We can simply put negative 3 here. Kasi alam naman natin that negative numbers are on the left side. While that positive 4, dapat dito siya sa right side. Now as you can see in our number line, we have 3 parts. We're in so 3 parts natin dito. Dito manggagaling yung ating solution set. Ito, ito, ito. Pero hindi lahat yan ay magiging solutions. Now, to make it short, kasi shortcut na gagawin natin dito, hanapin natin in which part of an interval or in which interval kasama si 0. Dito ba, dito, or dito? Okay, very good. 0 is here between negative 3 and 4. Bakit 0 ang ginagamit ko para shortcut natin? Dahil 0 ang pinakamadaling gamitin bilang representative ng bawat interval. Now, we will use this 0, x is equal to 0, gamit yung ating original inequality. But, mas madali kasing gamitin yung factored form. Instead of x squared minus x minus 12, ito gagamitin ko, interval na to. We will use that as x minus 4 times x plus 3. Pero inequality gagamitin natin ha, is greater than 0. Plug in 0 here, 0 minus 4. And the other is 0 plus 3 is greater than 0. Now, simplify natin to. This is negative 4. And this is positive 3, greater than 0. Four, negative 4 times 3, this is negative 12 greater than 0. After evaluating 0 here, dito, we will know or we will check whether this statement is a true statement or a false statement. Okay? Now, is it a true or false statement? Okay, very good, guys. This one is a false statement. 
Ngayon, anong ibig sabihin yan? If this is a false statement, meaning, yung pinanggalingan na zero, which is the middle part of the number line, are not the solutions of the quadratic inequality because it doesn't satisfy the x squared minus x minus 12 is greater than 0. Okay? Wala dito yung mga possible values of x. Eh, sorry nga saan po? Bilang shortcut, kasi sa previous video natin, lahat yan, kumuha tayo ng representative. Sa video natin ngayon, ang kinawala natin ay yung representative ng middle because nandyan si 0. Eh, sir, what if nandito si 0? Ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? Uh, going back with our uh, discussion, since 0 is not a solution and it represents the middle interval of the number line, ibig sabihin itong dalawang to. Yung dalawang nasa gilid, yung mga solutions natin. The numbers from here, going here, from here, going here, are the possible solutions. The numbers less than 0, or less than negative 3, but greater than 4. So what about the critical points? Are they included? No. Nagamit tayo ng open circle. So bakit po hindi kasama si negative 3 and negative 4? Um, to make it short, wala tayo ditong bar line. Ayun yun yung parang shortcut natin or trick natin to know whether the critical points are included with the solution. Okay? Nakuha na. Ito yung graph natin sa number line. Numbers less than negative 3 but greater than 4. And gawin natin tong gawin natin siyang inequality. X is less than negative 3. Ito naman. X is greater than 4. Ngayon, how are we going to express the solutions in a single interval notation? Ganito lang yan. Unahin muna natin to. Ito, to represent that, gamit ka lang ng parenthesis because negative 3 is not included on the right side and that is negative 3. Negative 3 going down, those negative numbers, infinity yan, it never ends. So, gagamit tayo ng negative infinity. And always, kapag infinity ang ginamit natin, parenthesis ang meron tayo. And we also use parenthesis negative, negative 3 because negative 3 is not included. Tapos yun yun. Ito naman tayo. 4 yun na sa left side. Hindi kasama si 4. Parenthesis, 4. And then, since pataas siya, and it, it never ends, so we will use positive infinity. At ito yun mismo yung solution natin. In interval notation. So, I hope guys na may natutunan kayo sa ating video and please tell me sa ating comment section kung saan school kayo, anong province kayo, at anong grade, atong section nyo sa grade 9. So guys, if you want to request a topic for me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!